Hey, we're back. <laughs> right back into it, because, of course. Yep. You guys uh, should have, uh, if you followed my orders correctly to the T, a list of legendary Pokemon and the locales we can find them on to snap pics of. Yes, yes. T I mean, Tan is the one who's got the actual list. I'm the one who's sort of going off of memory and also... <laughs> The majority of a video that I was watching, like literally just before we started. <laughs> That's fine. As long as you did your due diligence, I will not rage much. I remember. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, interesting. This is a system back from uh, the original game there, where uh, now when you go through a stage, uh, you can actually go for like a s overall score for that run of the course, meaning you want to get like the best of as many as you can. You want to be using up all of your film yeah. to get as many points as you can, because it even counts the ones that you don't submit. Mm -hmm. Here is the burst mode that you can uh, turn on or off. Another thing. It's definitely something that you want to do for those trickier behaviours. So I think that it. So for one of the early legendaries that I suspect that we'll be going <laughs> for. Now. If you want to get kind of like some really damn good shots, it is recommended that you do turn it on for that particular moment. Mm -hmm. um, but it's up to you how you approach it. It's not necessary to get all the photos that you need in the game. It's just a nice tool to have. <laughs> huh? all, right, all, right. all right, come on, get to the good news. Oh, interesting. Whoa. Not night. So there's a difference. <laughs> Evening. We get to go at sunset, which is just beautiful. Wow, that was one of the first wow. locales or biomes shown in, like, the trailer. Huh? Well, alrighty then. So uh, you get the, uh, the sunset, and you're... Obviously, the only other optional area that you've got is uh, the beach at night. Okay, Artichoke, where shall we go first? Well, uh, we actually already got the legendary of Florio, which was Shaman, which uh, shocked a lot of people. They were like, what? You can get it this early? And it's like, yeah, I just found it early there. Uh, we're actually going to want to go to the Foundja Jungle. And uh, this is one you'll be getting um, at night, right from the very start. Ooh, interesting. I'll, I'll take this one, and then, Richie, you can take the next one. Okay. All right, so you're going to want to turn right around right at the start here and play some tunes and immediately get ready to throw those apples. Okay, okay. And also get ready to snap those photos sharpish, because uh, he disappears fast. Oh. Look at that! It's Mew! And, uh, turned from a, you know, boss from the original into a regular stage Pokémon in this one. Uh, also, yeah, Leafeon's up there. We The uh, evolutions get added to the stage. Now, he should be appearing also up here. If you manage to, uh, get him again, uh, he'll actually keep appearing in the stage. So, yeah, get ready with those, those apples. It is uh, Xerneas Mark II, pretty much. He will keep flying around, so if you keep keep hitting, he will, uh, right there. Hey! That's a great one. So you are going to want to take the alternate route here, um, which you can get through scanning, uh, because he will be in, uh, in this area. To the trees on the right. And there's also another good, uh, good boy in the water. Yeah. So just, yeah, just keep an eye on those trees. I mean, you've got a decent one, so it's all good if it goes a little bit tits up from here. There he is. Yeah, it is, uh, like I said, just another very difficult one like Xerneas where you really got to aim your shots, but... Uh, so, the next time he should appear is uh, going to be around the ruins, if I'm correct here. I think you just have to play music. 
Oh, okay. There he is. And if you snap a picture... Brill. Oh, really? um, and now... If you just wait a second... Um, turn around and face sort of towards the waterfall. Okay. And uh, I believe Mew will stop us here in a second. I've never got this, because it's really difficult. Oh! Snap, 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 snap! Wow! <laughs> right up in the camera. Holy crap. There you go. And I believe that that probably has got you a four-star Mew. Wow. Well, let's quit the research. I think we're good. I think we are. That took a few tries, but uh, I think the results speak for themselves. Welcome back. Alright, Professor, get ready for your dick to be bloody blown off. Oh, that one. That's it. That's perfect. Apparently a bounce sweep. <laughs> there we go. Might as well put these in. <laughs> Nothing wrong with more points and whatnot. There we go. Ancient ruins <laughs> with an additional Mew. There we go. All right. Let's see. Will we hit fifty-five? Let's do this. That, that that's perfect. That's literally a perfect picture of Mew. I could not see it being better aside from being like slightly more zoomed in there. Holy shit! 58! Amazing. Superb. Hot damn. Well, I guess I'll have to go back there later for the uh, the other starred ones, but in terms of the playthrough, we've uh, we've got Mew. And it was much better than it was in the original snap, so I'm I'm happy now. And I believe that now that you've gotten that photo of Mew, I don't know when, once you reach level three in the jungle um, for day, um, it will now appear in the day version. Oh, sweet! A new discovery. I think I think you still have to kind of keep snapping it as you go along, um, but yeah, you can get him appearing right at the end and uh, free flying about, and that's quite fun. Sweet. Also, is that a picture of Mew? Jesus. Can you imagine just, like, picking up the brochure for this island and looking at the ruins and going, Is that the legendary Pokémon Mew? Yeah, you know. I pulled some strings, got him to appear. <laughs> oh, here come Grind. Well, I only took, like, a picture of free Pokémon there, so it's fine. The nice thing is the uh, the night levels actually go from two to max there, so it's uh, you don't have to worry about going then from three to max for that one. New record. Okay, you're not the only one who hears like the Mario Party Toad, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh. Where's the main subject? Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never seen that. That's amazing. I wanted one that just says you literally got Mew. Okay, I have to say the Mew one because it was perfect. Oh, for sure. Without a doubt. There it is. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. You were... Actually, you were perfect. You, know, you can't get any closer than that. Well, uh, the next one's looking to be uh, in the volcano. Ooh, I think I know what this one is, actually. And this one, a little bit of luck involved you know? in where it initially appears. Mm -hmm. So volcano or a luminous spot? At the volcano. All right, Richie, you're on this one, so leave me well, my lad. I will try my best. Uh, we'll see what happens, because I can't remember if it's level three or not. Some of these are based on level three. This one's two. You're good. Oh, this one's two. Brilliant. Right. So what you want to do is, I believe, initially, the first place to look is to your right. Look at this. Hmm. Um, there should be a... Yes, there's a gap there. Um, just look through, and hopefully we might see our first guest. 
Uh, nope, he has not appeared there, so that is fine. We move on to the next potential route. So as soon as we get down um, the crevice, you want to look up to the left through the rocks. Through the roll. Oh. Not there, um, right at the bottom, look up and to the left. So it might turn up around here. Okay, no, that's not looking likely. So now 180. And look up and to your right there, it, further to your right there is that. So attack that Illumina, the Crystal Bloom, and then look up in that crook. And oh, there he is. Whoa, dang. So uh, that's step one. Okay. You've got your photo. We are good. So now we're going to attempt... Well, I'm going to try and attempt to get you the uh, to the four star or the opportunity for the four star. All right. So you're going to want to take the All alternate right. route in here. Well, since we're on level two, we'll automatically take it because that is uh, forced on this one. That is true. When we get into the little tunnel here, you are going to want to look to your left and hopefully you will see a, uh, a feather sticking in the wall. I know when I played, the feathers didn't get to get to spawn in right away. I needed to redo the level a couple times, so it might be a case of when you come back, you'll get that opportunity for the level four. Yeah, that looks very likely. But you got your Ho-Oh photo, um, which is good. That's what we came for. <laughs> Indeed. God, it took me like... 12 tries to get him to spawn in any of the locations. So the fact that we got him to spawn in one of them right away is incredible. It, so it's random, but he will always appear in one of those spots. It's just that you have got to hit the crystal bloom um, for that particular one to launch. At least I think that's how it works. So you do have to be very on the ball with knowing exactly the spot where you're looking um, to be able to ensure that you, you get the snap. Very good, very good. Well, I guess we could do another one of that, just see if we can get a closer shot. It's a very uh, episode one of the anime uh, picture of, uh, of Ho-Oh there, just in the distance there, befuddling the children at this Pokemon that they can't get in their games. Indeed, indeed. God, here's another thing that should never walk on two legs. See, and here's the thing. That's another Pokemon that you look at it, though, and it's like, yeah, it's based off of, like, the early ancestors of dinosaurs. So it should be walking around because it can't fly always. Then comes in, you know, uh, X and Y, and it's always flying. And you're like, it shouldn't always be flying. That's not how dinosaurs worked. Oh, you, you can't get more perfect than that. Don't even try. A new discovery. Great timing. Yeah, size could definitely be a lot better. Oh, that was a request. That was almost a diamond. Just there. Well, alrighty then. Yeah, you do get requests for all the legendaries uh, after you beat the game there, so um, I'm surprised you didn't get the one for um, for Mew there, but it might be you weren't supposed to get the level four like we did on our first run. That's <laughs> <laughs> probably the case. Said it very quietly, very fast though. Excellent. I mean, I took a picture of, like, Azurius. No one else has done that. Not even you, Professor. I should be the best photographer in the world right now when it comes to Pokemon. <sighs> Whatever. So I go back to the stage and I look for the Rainbow Wing, yeah? I think you might have to get another photo of Ho-Oh um, at that early point. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. Thank you. Uh, you know what? We got Ho-Oh. It's fine. So what's our next one, Tanner? Ah, uh, so the next one, well, uh, unfortunately, uh, we need to be at level three for the undersea level. So uh, I think we're going to need to just uh, play it a couple times there. Yeah, the lentil sea floor just to get it to, oh, only once. And the good news is we'll get to see a bunch of new Pokemon as we go through anyway. So that's all right. 
All right, here we are under the sea, and uh, let's get looking for that legendary. So, good news. First off, uh, it's quite a ways in, so yeah, there's some new Pokemon we'll get to see, like the uh, Alola Mola here, uh, who we've talked about a lot, uh, you know. But uh, now we finally get to see it, you know, swim around with what should have been its pre-evolution. <laughs> Look at that show stealing fucker. I was taking pictures of Mantine. <laughs> so we're going to want to go into the Klotzer Cave, which uh, is now already open because time has advanced for us. So make sure you're mashing that scan so that you can get on in there. Out of all of them, this one takes, uh, it, you really go by it the fastest, but actually if you speed up as you did, you'll run into the Clodster and he'll stop you, which makes it easier. Uh. So we're all keep going. Uh, we can uh, hit those Chinchos with some Illumina Orbs and they will uh, bring up the Inkes to come say hi. And you can get some cool pictures of the Inke who are, you know, swimming around. Like this guy, he's going over to say hi to the Chincho that we hit and he's going to be like, oh, hey, what's up? I don't even think it's it does anything. Oh, no, there you go. Interesting. I think in front of you is going to be a Starmie as well, who's getting hit with some beam attack, and it's just like, I'm, I'm out. I can't handle this. Goodbye. What we're going to be looking for is in the next part of the stage, um, where we're going down into the depths, is, hello, uh, we're going to want to be looking for a lantern. Uh, so he should appear kind of behind you, um, but he swims around you in circles and like right up in your face. It's real tough to not see him. When he does that, we are going to want to hit him with a Illumina Orb to make him uh, be a, a friend, I guess. And yeah, if you hit this one here, the Illumineon just spins out and scares away Sharpedo, which is pretty good. All right. Just keep spinning around. You'll see him. He appears very, very large in front of you. It's tough to not see him. Um, but yeah, as soon as he appears, get ready to orb him up. I'm looking. Oh, there he is. Ah, there he is. And woo, yeah, one shot. So you can get a picture there and he'll, I think that's a level three or something. Now, he descends down and those uh, those frillish there are, uh, are going to go commit a crime. They're going to try and grab it to stop it from oh. taking you. Also, Highway Lord. And that's going to make it difficult because you need to hit those two with the uh, Illumina Orbs right there. And uh, the tough thing about that is, of course, the, the Waylords and the Whalemers get in the way. But hey, you did it all in one. So he goes down and is like, eh, okay, well, you know, I, I, I've gained, you know, trust in you. Let's take you to the secret lair of the legendary Pokemon. Bless. And obviously, just just keep keep those uh, photos ready. Mm -hmm. He goes on into the cave over there, so you can take that alternate route. And uh, okay, here comes the explanation. So he'll be sleeping up behind some rocks here. You can get a good one star of it sleeping. However, get ready to slow down, zoom in with your camera because there's two flowers you're gonna want to hit. One's gonna be right in the front, which will start to wake him up, and the other's gonna be behind him. Uh, by a magic carp. You need to look up behind him, uh, right up there. Yeah, it's over to the side. You really need to lead your shots because it is so difficult to hit there. So you can hit the magic carp beside it. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. It's so close. <laughs> this took me so many tries because it's so tough. Oh. To hit. You got it. Hey. And now you have awoken. Lugia. So, Lugia will now uh, fly around the end of the stage for you to take some pictures with. Hey, hey. There'll even be some uh, Krista Blooms that if you hit them around, like in the stage in the center, uh, you can even get, uh, I think, it to reappear sometimes. It didn't reappear when I did it, uh, but he will be flying around there uh, ready for some more pictures. And also, since this is technically another route, um, you, get, you get an extra um, trip to the end. And a Glissiopod, who's actually not asleep. So we get to sort of say hi, you know, see him pull in his gross isopod, you know, feelers there. <laughs> get over it, Tano, come on. <laughs> so uh, there is uh, Lugia coming up right in front of you. Yeah. And... Uh, there is a uh, crystal blooms on the stage in the center. Yes, there is. 
Yeah, the underwater physics takes some getting used to there, so... I'm not exactly sure what makes him do it, but uh, he can sometimes, when he hit that one, he will go there, he will do a big caw underwater, and that's how you get the level four. Well, I know what to do now, so it's all good. It's time. Lugia, to me, is a Pokemon that means a lot. Pokemon Silver was my first game and the one I put the most time into. So as soon as I saw that, I'm like, hot dang, I'm not getting him asleep. I'm getting him awake. Uh, and yeah, the amount of time it took me trying to find that gosh dang second Krista Bloom, I felt like I was going insane because I couldn't find it. Aww. It did take us a few tries to get to that point, to be fair. Look at that fucking video just there. The video, whatever. The fun thing is, uh, that's actually not a Pokemon because if you try to take a picture of it, because I had to redo this a bunch of times, it doesn't count. He's actually just part of the scenery. <laughs> That's mean. Oh, you better give me some big points for this, sir. That's what we got here. I actually think six is your best one. Love this. Very good. Very good. Eh, yeah. Chin Chow. Yes. Okay. Oh, free star. Mm hmm. Him casting his uh, hypnosis. Star me. We've got a free star. That's him just leaving. Just not feeling the energy. Goodbye. I say six. Yeah, it's more sad. <laughs> oh, a four star. Yeah, it's it using a rapid spin, I guess. Or mud attack. <laughs> rawr, rawr, rawr. Howdy, howdy, howdy. We're not going to beat that one, so... Nothing will beat howdy, howdy, howdy. Yeah. Lugia, baby. Free star. So yeah, one star is asleep, two star is opening an eye, three star is actually swimming around, and four star is when you get it in the center stage going, rah, I'm angry. Which one do you lads fancy? I feel seven, because it's the biggest while all being on screen. I mean, I would have a... I think you might have, a, like, a te number 10 or something, if you just keep going to your right. Ooh. That one is pretty good. I would maybe try 10, because I think it's more central, and you've got all of it in, definitely. It might be a better pose, too, considering it's actually in motion. Obviously, totally blame me if it's not back. I will, don't worry. Let's do this. Ah yes, the lying Pokemon. Yes, Alone and Mobile is caring and sweet. God, that rap. That's not a rap. Oh right, it's a Pokey rap. Sorry, I didn't even realize you were dropping a reference to it. Oh yes, it's like literally the, one of the only ones that I actually remember because it is so ridiculous and is easily one of the whitest raps I've ever heard in my life. Eh, not bad. This one's much better. Size is your biggest thing. And in fact, I think this one will be better because of it. Very good. Chin Chow. Nice work. Seems to be in a good mood. Definitely doesn't want to be put asleep by a mysterious force. Oh, oh no! No! <laughs> Yeah, direction let me down, though. It's tough, because, you know, it's facing away from you. You kind of got to hit Chincho super early, so you can kind of get as close to the face as possible. Nice eh, could have been much better. Yeah, you really got to book it with the engine to get there in time. Mm. Perfect timing. That's going to be a good one, yeah! Oh, magnificent. Work. Nothing will ever beat the howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> no. Nope. Can't do it. Mm. Oh, he do be flipping, though. Yeah, that's, that's him at the end, saying, hey, I brought you here. Congratulations, you got to witness a legend. Nice. Oh, my bad truth. A new 
discovery. Perfect timing. Holy shit, it's swimming. Very nice. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Good job, Rich. You get to live another day. Yay! <laughs> Slowly puts down the knife. <laughs> Very samurai-like behavior. By being a bog underwater. I, I don't know samurais. Nice work. Or, uh, you know, sea creatures either, because they're not bugs, they're isopods. Although they are closely related to bugs, closer than they are to lobsters. Alright, Professor Brain, calm it down. <laughs> I love undersea life. <laughs> uh, excellent. You may now board the tiny rocket I have stashed in the background and go to space. Oh, that'd be so cool, actually. There is a rainbow cloud there. It's the dying breath of a legendary. Aww. New record! <laughs> Every time. Excellent. I guess you have to get Lugia in the... That sort of run. Psychic collector, nice. Yeah, Lugia's worth big points there, and lets you get a, a lot of them, so if you're going for that course score, go for that Legendary. Alright, what's next? Well, uh, I think we're gonna go to the snow fields, right? I mean, we could go to the snow fields, I mean, I'd probably say an easy, considering we've had a more challenging one, if we go for a slightly easy one, I'd say go to Elsewhere Forest. Okie dokie. Because if, if my memory serves me correctly, and it should do, we basically just need to get to the last area of the forest, and then we're all right. Ah, uh, yes. This one is... Uh, it's not even a puzzle. <laughs> yeah, it's its really not. It's just get to the end, and just keep your eye out. Okie dokie. I mean, you've got a similar situation in the Ruins of Remembrance, where it's literally get to the front of the ruins, and then uh, say hi. That's basically that one. Hello. Nice thing is, you know, because we're coming back here again, I think we should uh, get some new seasons as well. New seasons equals new Pokemon. Guys, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> they, had to, they had to sync up their Naruto run. This place is nice, but I'm here for business, not tourism. Let's see, are we in a new... <gasps> ah, we are! So, we can take some new pictures here, including Gardevoir! Damn, you got lucky, because, I mean, it, it, it's possible to force the seasons into particular things, but, yeah, getting winter is very rare. And I believe if you look up on the mountaintop to your behind where you are right now. You should be able to get some nine tails. Uh, turn to your left or your right. Either way, look behind you. There it is. Just just going over the edge. That's what happened to me as well. I was like, oh, Winter Wonderland, what's around? And then I just saw the tails of the nine tails and I was like, oh, darn it. Son of a bitch. So not this area, the next one. Yes, I believe so. This area, uh, you know, is just another regular one where we get the same ones over and over. On level three, there's actually a, an interesting mission where what you're going to be doing is uh, there's all those um, flowers to your side there, um, like the one you just hit. Uh, you actually get a mission where you get to escort a deerling all the way out of there, uh, which is a bit difficult because you really got to be not only fast, but sometimes late with the orbs because uh, sometimes it doesn't go if you do it too early. And also there's a trick, Crystal Bloom, which is, I believe, actually that one there. Because th there's a point where you have one in the front and one in the back. If you do the one in the front, then its journey stops and you want to do the one in the back. That's very ominous. Its journey stops. I mean, it's quite delightful because I think it plays with an Esper. There it is, to your left. Oh, oh, it's a Celebi. Don't worry, because there is a point where he just stops and you get to take a good picture. 
it's the point where you know there's that Kecleon that we harass in in the, that area there. Uh, you're gonna want to turn once we go into this tree. You're gonna turn to your right and uh, look look at uh, at a bunch of food scraps there, and you'll get some good pictures. Oh, I didn't know he turned up here. Oh yeah, turn turn right here, and keep looking, keep looking right through. Yeah, that little hole there, that little hidey hole. You see those those things? Drop an apple. You should make a liar of me. Thanks, Celebi. He appeared there for me. Uh, he does appear at the end here. He'll fly by as well, straight in front of you. Or at least he should do, but either way, you have got a Celebi photo, so it's all good. It's time. Yeah, he should just swoos on through, unless he's deciding to be a spicy onion boy and not show up. <laughs> I mean, he might be, it might also be one of those of once you've done it the first time around, then he decides that he wants to show up on later ones. Although I didn't necessarily see him turn up apart from that first bit for me, but. Yeah, I, cause you know, I, I had to redo this stage a bunch of times for the Gardevoir cause I had to. And so yeah, it might be you take the one picture, you come back, he appears in more locations. In all fairness, he's a very busy Pokemon. That site won't maintain itself. <laughs> Welcome back. Alrighty. Hopefully we've got some good pics of him. Well, as long as you've got one, that's all we need. We got a level two, which is new. Okay, we can barely see it, but alright. Whatever, something big. That's fine. A two. Yes. So much difference. That was a one. Fuck. God damn it. It's fine, don't worry. I was gonna say, that one in the tree there looks so much better. I'm surprised it isn't a higher level. Majestic. I would say two. Alright. I don't think anything's gonna beat that. Yeah. Beware. Oh. Oh yes, hibernating beware, that is a three-star photo. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Just T-posing out of there. Yep, six is pretty dope. Alright, give me the points. How many legendaries do we have to uh, catch after this? Four. And then they're all in the decks. Perfect timing. We got one at the reef. We got one in the uh, snowlands. We got one in the cave, and we have one at the ruins. Based. 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 Oh wow. Oh, nice. To be fair, this one's in full color. And it also shows his feet, which is the big thing. Uh, oh. I didn't mean it like that! <laughs> the, the flame special. <laughs> Direction might be down on that one, but hey, different seasons. I actually managed to get all four of them be different seasons, which made me feel very happy. Oh, uh, look at you, Professor Brain. Admiral Brain. That's such a trolley picture. <laughs> It's like stoop kids afraid to leave a stoop. <laughs> nice work. Yeah, this one's definitely better. One's going, but one's coming. Hey, diamond. I do like the first one. Oh, it is better. It's that pose that did that one, I think. Well, because it's looking down at a weird angle. Birds don't do that normally. Well, no, it's not that it was looking down, it was pecking at the ground. Which they do do. You're right. Yeah, he said do do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Nice work. Give her the points. Not even close, mate. Why are you even trying? Oh, Great timing. I don't like it. It's beautiful. It's trash is what it is. Oh, here we go. That's like classic Salome. It really is. 
Nice work. If you've seen uh, Pokemon the movie Forever, there's a, a big important scene in that that uh, you can actually recreate in this, which is kind of cool. Huh. I'm just thinking about a rotting onion. You can't possibly mean the... I don't mean that, but I mean directly what comes after the rotting oh, onion. Oh, I'm pissed. If only we took a picture of that Lotad. At least it means that you're going to have a pretty easy time getting to level 3 next time you visit. Indeed. I'll get to play this on my own. When I go through the shitter, I can have a quick run. Literally. Doing a run while you have the runs. How do you discover winter exactly? Magic. Oh, okay. Avada Kedavra. Oh, it's winter. I'd say, even though it's the last area, I would probably go to the Ruins of Remembrance next because it's really early and really easy to get this particular legendary. Okay, okay. That is true. This is another one that's uh, <laughs> very similar to Celebi in that your prerequisite is be there. Okay, Ruins or Illuminous, but... Ruins. So basically, with uh, this particular legendary, get up to the front of the ruins, and uh, flying among the Elder Goths, there should be a uh, little delightful legendary Pokemon. Ah, uh, I know which one you mean. We're going to celebrate Tanabata a bit early. The Wishmaker is here, just up to your, the top. Hey! Just there, right away. <laughs> There is some stuff you can do with it. I think if you hit it with an orb, it uh, can appear later, but that is on later redos after we uh, have already handed in the one time. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> I'm a master at taking photographs of legendaries and, well actually, I think Jirachi classifies as a, uh, a mythical, not a legendary. I use legendary as a catch-all term, even though, yeah, half the ones in this game are mythicals instead. There we go. And Jirachi. Hmm. Oh, um, I would probably say that one. Okay. I didn't get it all in frame. But that's fine, let's see. We can always, it was so sure we can do a redo if we need to. It's right there at the start. Very nice. Eldegoss, Coolio, got lots of them in there as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a good one. A new discovery. I guess that's a Jirachi. Nice work. It is a diamond. But I want that better picture. And how many points do we get? Mm -hmm. A lot, because we got Jirachi, even though we were there for a collective 20 seconds. Kind of cheating, giving me a new record <laughs> when I only went in to get a legendary, so... What a record it is. <laughs> it's literally just, you know, it's better than nothing, quite literally. Don't like being called a machine by a computer program. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a little spooky. <sighs> All right, we'll go back in. We'll get a better picture of Jirachi. We'll bop onto the next place. Once more, with Gusto. So what's the location should we go to next, do you think? Um, so we have a choice between um, a new location mm -hmm. that uh, has slightly, slightly difficult procedures, or we have a old location with, we'll have to do like, 
two other courses and do a long form puzzle. It's your choice. Good luck. Uh, we'll save the long form one for last. All right. So then uh, after this, we'll be heading over to the reef at night or rather the evening. Come on, Tom. Pay attention. Oh, look. Oh, you got a perfect one there. Yeah. It was right in the center. It was looking pretty much straight at you. I wanted to be like, wow, you're you're back already again. <laughs> OK, you know that it uses a lot of power to send you to those places, right? I don't give a fuck, sir. This one? Yeah, that number five looks great. Yeah, definitely. I hope it gives me extra points for having Jirachi in this show. Let's do this. Nice work. That might be better. Nope. Oh, just close though. Still diamond. Nice work. Yeah. Oh yeah. He hit the big five thousand. Should be the minimum for any legendary, I suppose. Nice work. See other Pokemon, you did get a little bit of a bonus, but not as much as having a crap ton of Edelgoss. Oh, Jesus, is that Jirachi in the background? We don't pay extra for those, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just giving you these things, leave me alone. You didn't do as good this time, I'm disappointed. All right, where to next, lads? Let's go to the Reef at Night. Now, we will have to get it to level two because it is a new stage. However, because it, it's a new stage, you can get a lot of it just by playing the stage for the first time there. So uh, and there'll be new stuff to find. Well, it is totally a new level, so I might as well show it off, you know? Uh, yeah, the Reef. Uh, the Reef during the evening. Yeah. This one's very beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, majestic. Yeah, we definitely couldn't end the play through without showing off this area. Oh, definitely not. So for the most part, there's not a ton of new Pokemon at the beginning here, but there are uh, new situations with them that you'll be wanting to take pictures of. Uh, though there is the good Squirtle Boys over there. Oh. Uh. Lovely. And also, since we have uh, the joy of the uh, Illumina Orbs, we've also got a couple of really funky things that we can actually do that we were not able to do before. There is one really important one that we need to do uh, with the Whirlpool that we were talking about before, because it's the best. Uh, the one actually right in front of you. Illumina in the middle. Yes, orbs in the middle. Just keep spamming them, much like, you know, how you threw pester balls in uh, in the original into a whirlpool. And uh, if you keep hitting it, just keep going. Oh! Say hello to Blastoise Gamera. Jesus. <laughs> I had no idea that Blastoise can use his, you know, jet rockets backwards, and my respect has tripled for him. Oh, I don't think I got a good enough picture of him, but I definitely got a picture of the Lado himself, so... Yeah, well, he will be later on in the stage as well, uh, doing his best Mario Kart item impression. Ha! <laughs> nice. I think if you, uh, there's a couple things you can do with Waylords with uh, either Illumina Orbs or playing music. Uh, I just kept spamming stuff, and eventually they do do things. Oh, wow. Oh! Sorry, my, my, my brain went to, oh god, that's the thing that it does when it gets to the Legendary, but it's not level 2 yet, so it's not going to happen. Oh. Pre-Marina, blowing bubbles. It will flee when it sees you, because its performance is only for the sea itself, but 
Uh, you can get a good picture of it uh, when it jumps into the water. Very nice. You got a really good one. You got a freaking free willy looking picture. Oh no, pre marina escaped and it crushed our boy. <laughs> also, if you... We're going to come up to it in a second, but if you start throwing some Illumina Orbs in that blue hole that was mentioned, over to your left... I think it's just after this rock. Yeah, so if you throw some Illumina Orbs in here... At least I'm pretty sure it's Illumina Orbs. Please don't make a liar out of me. It could also be a later level thing, because if you're thinking of that, I think that's only at level two. Must be. But uh, <laughs> there he is, just chilling as a big old Bowser shell item from Double Dash. And also, we have some lovely Lapras. Oh, bless. And actually, that one there's a baby, because it's smaller, thus forever deconfirming a pre-evolution for Lapras. No. Oh. Dawn. Hey, Clumpo. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, it, it is the reef again, which, you know, is not a hugely new stage. However, there's still nice stuff, you know, like a new Pokemon and slightly new situations. So, uh, but when we come back at level two, which hopefully we get in one, that'd be pretty cool. Then we will definitely be able to get that legendary. Oh, is that the desert over there? Oh. It would be actually, yeah. I never noticed that. That's kind of cool. Alright, definitely got some good shots there, but uh, the crown jewel would be Blastoise Gamera, and uh, I don't think I was quick enough. We'll definitely have a picture of him, so we'll, we'll if we need to get a better one of him blasting off, we'll do that next time and grab a, him and his shell instead. We got NK. Oh, a full star. Holy shit. I think that's if you get him jumping, well, the glow is there. So you got that as a as a good one. Yeah. Blastoise. Three. Oh, wow. You actually got a really good one at four there. That, I mean, yeah, that is true. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, using Water Spout. That move brought me through uh, Pokemon Sapphire there. Hmm. I'd say five, because it's the biggest. Okay. Lapras. There's multiple here, so... Hey. Uh, Marini. Good enough. You know, we got a lot of new ones. I think we might immediately hit level two. I hope so. I bloody hope so too. A new discovery. Nice work. Nice and calm squirtle there. I think at later levels you'll find a lot more squirtles too, so you'll get more chances. Not the best four star I've ever taken. But the fact that it's four stars is still pretty good. A new discovery. I had too many pancakes. I was just gonna say, when you eat a little too much. Hey, there you go. Ah. Nice work. I prefer the old one. Yeah, I like him looking straight on ahead so that you can't even see his beak. This is ridiculous. I just want him to go, yo! <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, the size definitely let me down there. Oh, that's a shame. But it's so cool. I will make it my business to get that in diamond. Perfect timing. 
So I, uh, when I first got that one, I got real lucky. There was a wingle flying right above him, and it actually looked like the wingle was carrying him through to the perspective. <laughs> and I was like, that's amazing. Too bad it counts as a terrible photo. So I did save that one, because it looked really good. A new discovery. How terrifying. It's watching and waiting. It's like, oh, is that a child out here? Would be a shame if someone grabbed him. <laughs> he just takes the entire Neo one. <laughs> All right, lads, come on. We got, we're behind schedule here. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. The diving one probably would have been better. Mm, because it would have been facing, yeah. A new discovery. Nice work. So, uh, we will be needing to talk with those Lapras later for, uh, for the Legendary, for sure. There is actually another option. There is, but my way's a lot easier. <laughs> is it, though? Well, I guess, you know, they're in two different areas, so you know what? You get two chances. <laughs> nice work. I mean, I think I, I found the first one easier. It's just about leading. The other one is very much you've got to have some very good aim. True, true. To be fair, you need good aim for both of them. All right, let's go level two. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Ah! Ah! Well, it looks like this is the part where I do a thing and I edit and we'll be back when we're at level two, going directly into that level two do, to do a thing. Can I stretch this out anymore? I don't think so. Uh, well, we got rewards, though, still, because, you know, we, we went a different path, apparently. Huh, interesting. Alright, level two, here we come. Alright, so, the lad's here time with his two methods for this one, but, uh, Richie, yours is quicker. It's uh, early into the course, so take it away. So the first thing you want to do, make sure you are on level 2 and that you can see Vaporeon swimming about here. I think that is that is key. Um, and then there are two crystal blooms right here at the start of the level. One which is just up um, where Tom is flying that now. And then there is one that is right next to the whirlpool. So that particular crystal bloom there is the easiest to get. The one that is by the whirlpool, I would say, is the hardest one, purely because you've got to do a bit more leading with your shot. Um, and Tom knows where it is now, yes. So, uh, just do your best with aiming it, and brilliant! And then, what you want to be doing is you want to be trying to aim yourself as best as possible towards that right-hand whale lord. In our last run of this, I don't quite know what occurred. I just wouldn't turbo so much, just to sort of hopefully that it'll be okay. Um, and uh, yes, as you can see, Manaphy is right there in really? front of us. Actually going in the direction this time. So Illuminorm's not doing it, so if you play some music... Ah, there we go. Um, if you get in the zooming and get up nice, close and personal, that should be a four-star photo of Manaphy. Hey. Adorable Pokemon, absolutely useless. <laughs> Indeed. Quit the research, we're done here. The other method, if you fail to do that, is uh, at those Lapras at the very end, if you hit all them with the Illumina Orbs and then play music, their singing will draw it out and it will actually go and uh, play around with the Lapras for a bit. So that's the way I found it. But uh, it's nice that there's multiple ways to kind of get them and you get up close both ways. I would say that the method that we did today is the easiest one just because it's quicker, it's sort of earlier up in the journey. <laughs> but also I had an absolute nightmare in terms of trying to get the one with the version with the Lapras. Getting those Laprases to be hit was just so difficult. What's wrong, Tom? You didn't want the one of it looking like it died in the water? <laughs> no, no. Because then people would pin that on me, and I don't need that right now. Nice work. This is the part where Flame would come in with some certain facts about Vaporeon, and... Uh... I'm holding them in right now. I want you to realize I'm shaking holding them in. <laughs> Good. Mm. Nice 
hope it develops into a stroke, you fucking <laughs> de degenerate. Jesus. Anyway. Raichu, looking cute, possibly bewildered. He's, uh, you know, very happy that he has gained the ability to surf on the water wherever he wants. I think that's a, a whale. It might be the spoiler of a car that's been submerged. <laughs> yeah, that one's better. There it is. A new discovery. Your only special thing is that you can breed for a more useless Pokemon. Also, you are in possibly one of the worst Pokemon movies, so huzzah. Uh, yeah, it's one of the worst. It's it's no Genesect, but it's pretty bad. I've missed, like, six of the movies. I need to do, like, a marathon or something. Ooh, there's a point where it gets real tough to continue. <laughs> I don't know. Like, if you watch the Japanese version, it might be a bit more tolerable. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Next one, I believe we have two left. So we have a choice between, uh, you know what? I think just to make our life easy, let's go for one that is uh, fairly uh, easy to get through. And that is the Out Away Cave. Uh, now it does need to be research level three, which I don't know if we have it there yet. <laughs> if we do, then we're good to go. And if not, we'll fast forward a couple times probably. Let's see, are we at level three? We're not, we're gonna need to do one quick fast forward of this one. <laughs> Okie dokie, we're at level 3 and we're ready to rock. Pun entirely intended. Alright, so now that we're at level 3, we actually can either go down the uh, route from level 1 or the route from level 2. It becomes a split pathway. We're gonna want to, when we get to the big open room where you're descending down, uh, you're gonna want to make sure that you are taking the alternate route into the one with the crystal cave. Uh, so I'll tell you when you need to be scanning for that there. But for now, uh, keep an eye out for any new Pokemon or Pokemon in new situations. Okay. Ah, it's our old friend Gengar. Look at him. There he is. Blah! You'd think they'd learn by now. You'd think, but here we are. So yeah, at the very bottom of this room, uh, you'll get the option to either go... Oh, also look up. Oh my god. It's a high dragon! Yes, you can also get a Gudra in uh, this area now if you head to the left, but we want to head to the right. That's the important thing. Yeah, so we're going to want to be scanning once we get down there to go to where those Noibatters flying around there. So don't be don't be speeding up too much, but you definitely want to be just keep on doing it till you get the option. It'll be like, hey, which path? And you want to go that away. All right, so you see that room there where uh, previously there was uh, the Kabrink being chased by the three Naruto running Sableye? <laughs> yes, I do, yeah. Once you're in there, you're going to see now there's going to be two Kabrink as well as a um, uh, Mawile. So you're going to want to hit all three of those with Illumina Orbs. And when you do so, the Legendary will appear. Oh, all right. So just hit things with Illumina Orbs. Got it. The Kabrinks as well as the uh, the uh, Mawile there. So right there below you, get hitting them, all three. Get out of the way there, Drifloon. Now you hit all three, now look up to your top right. Right there, to your right. Now down, down. Oh. There it is. And it's gonna go do a shine. Oh. Magnificent. So now actually you're gonna want to turn forwards because it's actually gonna unlock a new route. Okay. Scan, keep scanning here. And now that the Mawile is your friend, you can now take this new secret route and also get a picture of its face because it's like, hey, anyone who's a friend of the queen is a friend to me. Oh, bless. Now we can see what's on the other side of that wall. So there's not a ton of new stuff here, but there is a new thing you can do. Richie, you know what it is? Yes, look to the bottom left almost immediately in the bushes. Okay. And you should see a Jolteon. Hey. I think if you either, I think if you hit it with uh, Lumina Orbs, it should pop out. <laughs> or it's just enjoying no clipping. Come on. 
I see you there. Stop. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, Jolteon's pretty cool. Honestly, are there any bad evolutions? Even ones I don't really, like, care for, like Leafeon, that are pretty decently designed and whatnot. Yeah, there are no bad evolutions. There are bad evolutions in gameplay terms, but there are no bad designs for evolutions. They've all been phenomenal. If you didn't get Diancy the first time in uh, uh, the other room, because you would have obviously went the other route, uh, there'd be some uh, card rinks there. If you hit them with orbs and then play music, you could also get her to come out. So that's another way to get her to appear. Nice. It is nice that the mythical ones are so forgiving with multiple opportunities, and then the legendaries are like, what's that? The RNG isn't good? Too bad. What's that? You can't hit a tiny target you can't even see? Too bad. Yeah, fuck off, fucko. You know, it, they were right. The earlier games were harder. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to get a better picture of him next time. And so I suppose as we turn this in and head towards our final destination, do you want to do the one optional level that you have not done yet? Huh, the beach at night. Huh. That's great. Uh, yeah, why not? I mean, it's what? It's like another, what, three minutes? Might as well. Good stuff. And we're good. Then. Give me the points. Nice work. I don't know what he means by it looks like it's a heavy hitter. <laughs> I think the the first thing he says is literally random. Probably. Nice work. What a charmer. Uh, how? <laughs> what? Driftlim definitely doesn't like kidnapping children. But that's just wrong, Professor. It's wrong. You're spreading misinformation. Nice work. Hell yeah. Lots of them flying, one of them flying, sleeping. A new discovery. Good, good spiky boy. I think of the original three, Jolteon is my favorite, just for its design. Um, I still like Flareon, even if its move pool is piss. See, I, Flareon to me is the lowest just because it just looks like Red Eevee to me. Like, it, the fire aspect is only slightly there in the tail, really, it feels like. Okay. How is that better in so many ways? <laughs> it, it looks the same. Is this? Did you just resubmit the same photo? Whatever. A new discovery. Nice work. Not bad. Yeah, direction lights down there. Nice work. Oh, oh, you're approaching me. <laughs> oh my god, look at how ominous that photo is with the shadow of Braviary. I was gonna say, that, that ominous shadow is amazing. Mm. Nice work. Just two dudes. Just a couple of dudes. A happy Geodude is like one of the best photos I've ever taken. This one is no slouch though. Oh, that's pretty damn good as well. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah? It's also probably one of the easiest four stars for the, uh, for the mythicals there, where it's like, the first thing you see is pretty much the four star. Nice He's scurry, cause he in a hurry. Not as good, sorry. Alright, so that leaves us with uh, one legendary slash mythical left to get, but uh, we're going to take a little trip to the beach first and foremost, because uh, there should be some new Pokemon for us to find. Mm -hmm. Toad voice. Look, we've been recording for almost three hours, alright? Excellent. Any more and I will literally become Toad. But specifically N64 era Toad, where it wasn't gravelly, it was just extremely high pitched. <laughs> you know, after he didn't, uh, something about a, a joke involving Toad smoking 60 packs a day and so he becomes gravelly. There, done. You happy? 
<laughs> I'm not your performing monkey, fuck off. No one said anything. I'd just like to point that out. No one said anything that led to that outburst. To be fair, if you didn't say that, that was the exact joke I was going to try and workshop in my head to say. <laughs> it's okay, I fumbled it so you don't have to. Oh, thanks, Nostalgia Critic. <sighs> that, that was his go-to catchphrase during Change the Channel, I think. Alright, so, the beach is calling. Yes, at night this time. Hell yeah, let's go. Level 1, so it won't be too popping, but uh, we got to see what's there. I know Zangoose is going to be here for one thing. Oh yes, and uh, along with Zangoose's eternal rival. <sighs> they just need to get a hobby, get Disney Plus or something. Oh, pretty. So, of course, one of the missions is literally to get them to fight. Of course. Where is it, though? Uh, do you remember that one, uh, Krista Bloom that you hit to make the Blossom Dance? Ah, yes. You're gonna need to hit that one. As, as you round this corner, it'll be right in there. Yeah, turn right around and you'll see the uh, see the blossom in view. Yeah, see it says crystal bloom there, so give it a give it a good good orbin. Oh my god. There he is, he just peeks out. Hi. Goodbye. On later levels, he'll actually come out, but in, in level one, he's basically a moving 3D model, and that's about it. <laughs> I, I don't know which I uh, like more, honestly. Oh, hey. God damn it, if I was just a bit faster. If you didn't get the uh, NK in the other stages, this is where you can find him first, because we unlocked this really early on, we just uh, never went to it. That is an alternate route. Uh, I think we went the long way last time. Oh, this time we can go this way. I saw that pop in, you oh, naughty really? boys. Oh yeah. Oh, This stage in particular, I noticed it quite a bit. And I'm like, oh, you didn't mask it enough. Oh, he looks so bad. Zangoose is such a good design. It's it's a little digimon -y, but you know what? I like that personally. Dance for me. Very good. Summon the flower god. I see you there, Inke. You will not escape. Man, it must suck to be an Inke in this world because no one's willing to hold you upside down to evolve you. God, trying to do that while recording oh. was a bit of a... What? 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 Look at the little um, to your left, just there. It's a sandy ghast. You can wake him up if you... I think it's an apple you can wake him up with. And he goes, Aah! It's so angry. I love Sandy Gast so much. It's such a fun design. One of the best designs there. And as soon as I saw that red, the red uh, pail there, the, the red handle, I was like, there's got to be a Sandy Gast. You don't just put that there and not have a Sandy Gast appear. So there's a few of them here. So weirdly, when I played, I somehow managed to get one of them to cast um, Confuse Ray on me, and it actually made the controller vibrate, and I wasn't looking at it, and I got really scared because out of nowhere, the game started to vibrate. And I was like, what is this creepypasta thing? And I had no idea until the comments told me, yeah, it was, it was one of them using Confuse Ray on you because he hit them. I'm like, okay. I wish I saw that, because it scared me. I'm like, what is happening? Why is there a vibration? That's something you should be asking yourself in everyday life, really. Hello. Alrighty. The time of day does make a big difference, yes. I think six would be better because it has his whole body there. Fair enough. 
<laughs> just the way he slides out and back in is so funny. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh, all we're missing is a one star in case, so guess what? We completed him. He's not even looking at us. Yeah. That's technically one of those, I think. <laughs> I love him getting bombed and going oh, over to the side. Yeah. Give me the points. Let's do this. First up, Vivion. I don't think we'll ever beat that first one because the first, like, the first one always seems to be the best one for everyone. I've watched multiple people play this game in addition to myself, and no one ever beats that one. It's kind of ridiculous. Nice work. Perfection. Nice. It looks like he's taking a bow. <laughs> it's me again. A new discovery. God, I love that so much. I don't know why, but things just like appearing and then just disappearing off screen always makes me laugh. It reminds me of like a like a C tier Disney ride where it's like they didn't get the full crazy animatronics. They just got something that comes out and then goes back in. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, there we go. None of them are looking at me. Ah, <laughs> oh, first one was better. Alas. Work. Should get good other Pokemon for this one. Oh, or not. Not really. The other Pokemon is really only for like a small bonus. Oh, you got two Mew in this? Well, I'm sorry, but I can only give you like 100 points. Honestly, I'm kind of insulted. You would bring me such a photo. Get out. Ah! <laughs> Why did I tie my spectral being to this corporeal sand? It's uh, really funny. Um, I watched Corone, the dog girl VTuber, play this, and she saw Sandy Gast and loved it. And then someone said, read the Pokedex. And she's like, why? It's just this cute thing. And then she read it about how, like, if you put your hand in it, it sucks out your soul. And she's like, just kidding. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> Aw. Bless. So, yeah, that was the beach at night. Plenty to see. And, uh, man, I can't wait to, uh, Get tits leveled up and see the ongoing drama of the Viper and Zangoose. Insert your own shitty toe joke here. I'm done. <laughs> well, well, we'll be seeing it one more by the time we're done here. Oh, oh. Yeah, I think this is our first uh, research sticker we're getting. So every time you complete it there, you get a sticker for your book. Excellent. Cool. I actually wasn't expecting that. Yeah, so we got everyone on Marcopia there. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's great. Like, you just keep getting little rewards, even if it's just like a pop-up that says you did it. It just like, it makes you feel good. Or like the frames or the even the icons, it's like even if you're never going to use half them, it still feels good to just keep unlocking stuff. That, that's the thing I didn't, well, I neglected to bring up, shall I say, when I was doing my final force. The sense of progression is really good. Things are meted out basically perfectly. There is a bit of repetition, obviously, and it's just the nature of Snap. I don't think you'd ever be able to get rid of that. And sometimes when you're trying to get a particular shot, it can be a little bit annoying, uh, like with Lugia on the highest star ratings, but uh, overall progression is wonderful. So, last one, lads. Leave me to it. So, we're going to be heading to the Shiver Snowfields, even though the Pokemon is available, we need to first off make sure they're both level two. So day is at level two and that's good. Uh, is the night at level two? It is. OK, so first off, we need to go there in the day first, because this one is one that uh, involves a bit of uh, back and forth. So what we're going to need to do is right at the very start, you're going to look up to your left uh, and you should see an Alolan Sand Slash. You need to take a picture of him. This is one that is affected by pictures being taken. So uh, look for him and take his picture. Up to the left. Look at this. Yeah, so he should be just around this tree, I think. Ah, yeah. 
And now he's going to move on to another area up on like the ledges to the left. So keep your eye up for him to your left here. Yeah. So uh, there he is. You see, he jumped out. Take another picture. OK, good. You got it. So basically, remember that big ice wall that's up here? Mm hmm. He's going to cut a you a path through. So get to scanning ahead on it and you'll find yourself a new alternate route. You might be thinking, oh, you know, he didn't really didn't dig through. Uh, OK, what, what what's going to. Oh, 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 OK, no, no. Uh, 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 so we just plow on through. I don't know if you know this. That would destroy the zero one. And we find a new area. Oh, wow. This will unlock it for the night level, which we'll need to then come back and do that one. But uh, we can go on through. I think you have to finish the level fully to uh, to make sure it saves there. I believe so, yes. So unfortunately, in the day, there's not much here. <laughs> it's just kind of snowy. Uh, your scan function is quite useful to, uh, to, to see through here. But as you can see, there's not a lot. And uh, we come up, you'll recognize where we are in just a second. Oh, hey, is this area? Yeah, and then we this is where we get to go down uh, into the cave. It is a thing in the day, but it really doesn't do much. Uh, specifically, we're going to want to now come back at night to get the, uh, the the legendary there. Lovely. And also you can get a lovely frost lass if you look to your left. Oh, frost lass. Because you, you were going to get another frost lass shortly. Um, but that's a nice, easy frost lass. Getting the legendary literally involves taking a picture of frost lass. So, yeah, we'll get that for sure. Where is he? Ah, oh, my boy. My precious boy. Hey. Uh, did we get a good picture of, uh... Oh, no, it's at night, the sleeping one there. We'll get that later. Or not the sleeping, but the uh, the hot springs one. We did get hot springs, Mama Swine. Okay. I thought I was confusing my run with one run that uh, Vinny did. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's tough when you're watching multiple people. <laughs> it is. Sometimes I attribute their success to myself, and then I wake up, and reality is very different. All right, Frostlass. Very good. Wasn't even aware I took a picture of a cover tree, but... Uh, level two is new for you. <laughs> and I like him, he's like, I'm ready. I'm ready, coach, put me in. Uh, level two is new, as well as level three, so you can take your choice. There we go. Good, good boy. Alright, this should be our last uh, main run, and then uh, it's legendary time. Let's do this. A new discovery. Great timing. Very good, very good. Contemplating the fact that it's the spirit of a lady who died in the snow. Yeah, well, that was. Where is it? <laughs> It's just over the ridge of that nice little rock. Size 23. Ah. 1929, a fine you. Mm. Come at me, you fuckos. Nice work. You hot Pokemon piece of shit. Ah, bit of snort. Nice work. Oh, interesting. I think it's because he's facing more towards you there. Mm. Nice work. Majestic. Oh, so close. Close. We'll get more runs where you can get a better one on your own time. Nice work. Nice. Oh, well, it's bigger. I'll give you that. Beautiful. It can be better. That swine up brought it right over, like just barely. Nice work. It's not ominous enough for me. I prefer the other one. They look like they're about to strike. Mm. Nice work. 
I'm not even sure there is a, a Vulpix in this shot. Camouflage. I think you're leading me on a merry chase for points. Well, the Vulpix wasn't going to help, but... Uh, mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad. the wall of ice, which would destroy your zero one, because ice is solid. Mm, it could be snow. I don't know, I'm just spitballing it. Yeah, so now that we've gone through and unlocked the route in the day, we can now go through it in the night, which will then actually give us another secret route, which we need to unlock, which again, if you then go back in the day, you'll be able to do it in the day, but the legendary appears at night. Okay, so this is the last course we need to play then. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Good level to end on here. Very happy, like I said, that they included an iced level. Definitely would have brought the game down a, a smidge. Not like a whole point or anything, but I'd be a bit disappointed if there wasn't one. So, uh, as we start the level here, uh, you know, keep it normal at the beginning, but as soon as we get to that ice wall, we are going to want to go through it again. Alright. Well, I still got to get points. Yeah, of course. Just don't use up too many photos this early on, because... Uh... Oh yeah, there's a lot of new stuff later. Dum -dum -dum. Including just past the ice wall. Yeah, as soon as you're around that bend, get through that ice wall, and then, uh... Then you're pretty much gonna see a new Pokémon there. A big, uh, big fisty boy. Uh, when you see him, and he's about to punch a tree, you're gonna wanna be hitting him with the Illumina Orbs. You got it. And I do believe it's specifically the tree on the left. Yeah, so if you if you just keep hitting him with them, because he's gonna go over there and hit that tree, just keep hitting him, he will, uh... You're powering up his power-up punch, which will then wake up the Obama Snow, because he hit it, it woke up the Obama Snow. Obama Snow is gonna use Blizzard, and above you is gonna be a Frostlass. You need to take a picture of the Frostlass. Frostlass will go, hey, are you looking up my skirt? That's weird, I'm dead. It will then lead you to a new secret route, if you keep scanning when it goes through that hole. Interesting. Yeah. And annoyingly, that is not the final step that you're going to need to uh, do in order to uh, unlock our final legendary. Oh. Yeah, but first off, there'll be some new Pokemon in here for you to find. Again, don't take too, too many pictures, because there are a bunch later on. Essentially, what you're going to do is uh, it will involve Illumina Orbing Jinx. Now, not these ones here. It'll be ones later on. But uh, your job is going to be Illumina Orbing, a Jinx that is going to be outside to your right when you exit this cave. And it will be holding up its hand and um, it will be on an Avalug doing its best Titanic impression. <laughs> so you're going to need to Illumina Orb that one there. All right. So on the left here. On the right. So as soon as you come out of this cave, it'll be on your right. You'll see it. It'll be titanicking the Avalug. Right as you come around. And hey, there's a dugong. I uh, saw you there. Right there. It's praising. So Illumina it, and it will raise its hands in joy. Yep, you've done it. And it does. And now it has summoned the legendary. So turn to your left, and you should start to see it. Uh, running round. Right. It's on the right, comes across the water. Hmm. Where are you, my friend? I know this one took me by surprise. Like it just appeared. I could hear something giving it all this. Oh shit! There he is. You'll get a good shot at the end, don't worry. Also, Snom! Coming around. 
Good boy. Base. That should be one final one if we're correct, right in front of you. Up top, up top. Look at it, majestic. Also Aurorus, you know, just throw one more dinosaur in there because they're all alive on this island for some reason. Man, what a great area to end on. Like, That's beautiful. A night glacier plane. Gorgeous. Welcome back. Alright. <sighs> Hope I got some good shots. Look at the variety you got in, like, this final one, too. Like, just how many different ones. Tiana. How do we feel about Crabominable? Eh. Interesting design. It's an it's an okay design. I like the idea of it being the um the snowshoe crab or whatever there, because that's just like a rare crab to see like a furry one in real life, but otherwise it's like, yeah, I, I kind of prefer your uh, first form. Oh. Sure. Why not? Well, it's certainly in the picture. I think one there, because I like I like them just looking off there. Man. <laughs> oh swine. But what about one? We have a lot of them here. Kinda like sixteen there. Or not 16. Numbers are hard. I meant 14. Yeah, I think 14. Because it's it's standing up, it's close. What are you thinking, Rich? Well, no, I'm, I'm, it's difficult to tell because of obviously the pose. I think 11. Let's just have a look at what, what it's doing in 11. Oh, I, I can't tell whether it, which one it's going to do best for, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, these are closer. Fourteen's looking directly like, yeah, I would go for that one. Even if fifteen's technically the better photo. If it doesn't get me a high enough score, we'll redo it, because now I know what to expect. Right. Mm. Nice work. Give me them points. Duh. He's ready to go either deliver presents or pain. It's random. <laughs> it kind of is. Nice work. Disgusting. I will rip it up and throw it in the bin, is what I'll do. Nice work. Oh, that might be better. It is. Not bad. Is this even a Pokemon? It's a cool, like, cinematic angle of it. It's like a, you know, like a Rocky over the shoulder getting ready to punch pose. Probably should have taken more foes instead of just chucking orbs at it. <laughs> well, we were focused on, you know, what he brings us, not what he is. <laughs> okay, that's diamond, I guess. I'll take it. Mm, nice work. A natural state of being dead. Very good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, the, the fact that it is the ice one period is worth it being three stars, because you don't normally have butterflies in the snow. Mm. Great timing. Near, far, wherever you are, I believe that the Avalog does go on. Jesus Christ. Don't do a Jinx cover of that, please. <laughs> just, do, just don't. Nice work. Wow, I don't have much luck with Cubture, do I? <laughs> well, it's better than the three pixels of it you had last time. I guess so. Yeah! Nice diamond ice cream. Could go for some, actually. Ice cream, not the Pokemon. <laughs> 
10 billion T points. Yeah. Diamond, good boy. Snom just naturally deserves diamonds because I love him. Seriously. Is this just a prank at this point? <laughs> <laughs> that is almost exactly like a Loch Ness monster photo. <laughs> You've scored me less for worse than that, Professor. Come on. Great timing. See, this is this is a bear tick after reading the reviews of Norma the North. Man. That's pretty good. Mama Swine. Nice work. Yeah, your first one was kinda perfect. I don't think you'll top that. Oh boy, moment of truth. A new discovery. Nice work. Pose is good. Yeah! 69, though! We can do better than that. A new discovery. Nice work. Da, 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 da. Yeah! Down with Aurora shot. So we're gonna let that run lie. It's all good. But, uh,. I want to speed through, and I want to hit that jinx with a thing. See if I can find its uh, other poses too, because we got it at the you know while it was running, and we got it while it was um, you know at the end there. But let's see if we can find what the other Sorry. ones are. It's four stars, pretty spectacular. I won't lie. Oh, his four star is pretty easy too, so we can definitely try and get that. I just wasn't aware of, like, what direction he was coming from. I've never seen him appear. I've only seen him at the end there, because I always look forward. But now I know he comes across the water. Yes, he comes across the water from the right, roughly where the jinx was. Okay. That's specific. I can work with that. Let's go! Alrighty. We do... Unfortunately, I have to repeat a few steps here, but fortunately, it's not really that big of a deal, so uh, we'll zip some zoom over there. Unlike, say, the Lugia, where you have to do some pretty precise hitting, this one is pretty simple. It just involves some uh, orbs and photos there. And uh, as we go through, we definitely want to be scanning, because I think there's a Weavile up ahead, too, which is new. You might see it. Yeah, there it is. In the tree. Interesting. Hey! It's either if you scan it or if you hit it with something. Uh, yeah, you can knock it out and uh, amazing. The Pokémon Pokemon are almost all in here and uh, they do get a lot of love, probably because they already have animations for them from Pokémon. Come on, let's go. And also we want to get some good pictures of his disgusting Yeti-like face. I think you have to call him disgusted. You know what? I, I am one of the few Crabominable, like, I, I do like Crabominable, unlike my friends who hate it. Uh, so, I, I can insult it every now and then, because overall I like it. So through the cave we go. So now, if we do want to get the four-star Suicune, uh, what we're going to want to do is, um, as it's running round, uh, which we'll be watching for in the side there, um, we do want to be making it glow, which will cause it to stop. Uh, and if it is stopped there, it should do a special animation if you don't hit it with anything else. If you bop it, you can get its two star uh, with a fruit there, but otherwise you will be uh, getting him through this way. Okay. Ooh, have a lug. Come on. Just need to get you. Just getting the jinx is the little bit of a challenge. And then, yes, if you just look at that little uh, bit of uh, the ice there, that is where Suicune will come running from. It just takes a while for Suicune to show up. 
that, I think that's what got me. Cause like, again, I never saw it when it spawned in from here because you know, I did the prerequisite hitting the jinx and then I'm like, okay, where is it? So I'm looking around everywhere because yeah, it seems to take forever as compared to some of the other legendaries. Like, hello, you're still not here. Where are ya? And just right when you think it's not gonna appear, it does. Oh, you got it there. So now, if you keep looking at it... It's going to... It says it's going to... And it's not. Never mind. Well, we got some real good shots of it. It's supposed to use Blizzard on the Deli Bird, but I guess it decided to not bequeath us today with that. And you know what? That brings us back to our final nitpick of this game that I think uh, none of us really, you know, picked up in our final reviews. Sometimes the RNG do be a bit hard. I don't think I actually hit it with the Illumina Orb was the thing. Uh, no, because the fact that it stopped period there means you did. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah, RNG then, I guess. But uh, I got a super close one. That's what I wanted. However, it was always meant to be seen from far away, so I'm not bothering to uh, redo that. <laughs> That's fair. For those of you who are interested in this last little moment that we've got, basically I think once you've gotten that sort of first ho picture or if you have to catch it again, basically when you go into that right hand route and um, through the volcano there are three ho feathers um, that appear one in the left as you go into that tunnel opposite the um, Charmander pit, one which is immediately to the right as soon as you enter the flowing area, you've got to hit the Luminor Orb Torque Hole to get it to move its ass. Um, and then you got it there, and then one which you can see just where the Charmander and Tarkoal are hanging out. Um, once you've hit all of those three, and with an Illuminar Orb, Hobo will then descend in the final room um, to grace you with its presence. Bless. Ooh, hey. I like how it's the same photo, but Delibird is using his Smash Bros. shield. <laughs> nah. <laughs> How embarrassing. I like how you actually can't tell it's not a sneeze blow. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, come on. How is that just bronze? Well, whatever. Nice work. Oh, he's got his dukes up, ready to punch a tree, as he always does. I'm not gonna beat that one. Ah, it's facing forward this time. It might actually be better. Wow. Okay, I can't count, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, it's not, but you did get a achievement for it, and that's the important thing. Hey, very nice. I think that might just be an iceberg with the top broken off. Yeah. It's just an actual iceberg shaped vaguely like a living creature. <laughs> it's slightly more visible. Yep, slightly. <laughs> Ridiculous. So if we weren't focusing on Suicune, it does land on an iceberg for you to take a picture of too. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. And look at that. We got another request completed for that as well. Amazing. Good thing to end on, I think. Nice work. I'm here too. <laughs> that to me just looks like, you know, uploading a picture of Swine Up to Facebook and being like, look at this Swine Up. And someone says, what about that Suicune? And it says, it ain't about him. That Dugong's drowning. No, he can swim. <laughs> it's fine. You're not wrong there. He's just basically saying, keep me doing courses if you don't get the desired RNG you require. And uh, we never showed it off, but of course, you know, if you're looking for some good shots of certain ones, those uh, that burst photography mode is quite useful, so you can make sure you get a lot of very good ones there of uh, them in quick succession. Yeah. Very good. You don't see this every day. A legendary just giving it all this.
Ah, <sighs> well, that brings us to the end of our legendary and mythical hunt in the new Pokemon Snap. Some of those were a lot harder to get than others. Uh, on one end of the spectrum, you have, I would say, Ho-Oh. And on the other, you have Jirachi, who basically does not give a shit. <laughs> Very much so. It's interesting because, you know, I think the hardest challenges in the original Pokemon Snap were like Scyther in terms of hitting him where you don't see him. You have um, Mew at the end to make sure that you can, you know, uh, hit him a bunch of times there. And then like for obscureness, you have like Gyarados, right? Whereas this has way more of each of those where you have difficult to hit ones, invisible ones, as well as, uh, you know, ones that are multi-step crazy ones. So uh, I think it's really cool that it really goes in depth. The nice thing, though, is, of course, you got um, the scan, at least, to help you find those invisible ones, because, man, I sure would have loved to scan for Scyther. Also... I feel like I should point out that that shot of uh, Suicune is your highest rated photo in this entire run. Wow. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. Hey, very good. I love it. Could not end without one final shit post. Absolutely. Uh, so, any final thoughts while I do this, lads? Tanner? I love this game. I found the post-game to be even as good. Because once you're going on those, like, level threes with, um, you know, uh, more Pokemon unlock because you beat it there, uh, there's actually a large number that I was really surprised to see where you'll just go through a stage and be like, oh, like, you're there. Like, you know how we saw the Swampert there? There was a bunch like that where you're just like, oh, yeah, that's just a new thing. And there's even some alternate routes you didn't discover. There's uh, Behind the Waterfall, which is ridiculously hard to get. But if you get it, you can find some new Pokemon. So it's like those deep secrets. I love it. Ah, oh, very nice, very nice. Wow, that really was my highest. God damn! So, yeah, this has been New Pokemon Snap, guys, with the help of Richie and Tanner. We have shown you all the legendaries and mythicals in the game. Obviously, Shaman was not part of these two or whatever number I decided to edit them into videos, but uh, he's earlier in the playthrough, so you can go check him out there. Thank you all very much for watching. Coming up next should be uh, a new Sonic LP, and uh, Richie, uh, Flame, and I should have recorded it by uh, that point. So, um, I'll just tell you, it's Sonic Riders. So, uh, Ooh. hope you're looking forward to that, and uh, we'll see you next time for another HFC playthrough. Bye-bye.